In this video, we're going to take a look at two different examples, and both of these examples are going to involve a product rule. So for this one, we have two things multiplied together that tells us we have to use product rule. So that means that you're going to take the first thing times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, so we got the first thing, x squared. Then we're going to do derivative of the second. Derivative of e to the x is e to the x plus the second thing, e to the x, times the derivative of the first. 2 comes down, subtract 1 from the exponent, and you get this. Last thing we'll do is just clean this up a little bit. Um, all you can really do here is you can do a little factoring. So you can pull out, first of all, there's an x that's common in both of those. There's also an e to the x that's common in both of those. And then what's left over is going to be x plus 2. Again, you can always tell if you factor it correctly if you multiply this back through. So if I multiply this back through, I get the x squared e to the x, and I get 2x e to the x. And so this right here would be as far as you can go. So let's take a look at another one involving product rule. So here's another one that involves product rule. We have two different things multiplied together. Yeah, it is possible for you to distribute the e to the x all the way through, but that'll make it more complicated because then you have three different terms. A couple of them will require you to do product rule individually. So it's actually better to keep it in this form here. Your f is going to be this whole entire thing, and your g is going to be the e to the x. So let's apply the product rule. So product rule, we got the first thing, 9x squared minus 6x plus 2. We have all of that times the derivative of the second. Derivative e to the x, again, is e to the x, plus the second thing, which is e to the x, times derivative of the first term. Power rule, 2 comes down, multiplies by 9, 18x. This you're just going to get minus 6, and that's as far as you can go with that. Now, instead of multiplying all this out, that might make it more complicated, I want to do a factoring step here because I notice that there's an e to the x that's common in both of those. So what I'll do is I'm going to factor out the e to the x from both of those. If I get rid of the e to the x's, what do I have left? I have all this plus sign and all this. So I'll have 9x squared minus 6x plus 2. I got the plus sign from this one and then I have 18x minus 6. So again, I can group these separately. If I, I could put parentheses inside each of those if I really wanted to, and then the e to the x would be multiplied to each one, it would still give me the same thing I started with. Now, the part that's on the inside, I can do some simplifying. Nothing that goes with 9x squared, so I'll leave that. Negative 6 plus 18, that's plus 12x. And I have 2 minus 6 minus 4. And so this would be your final answer. This here you wouldn't have to factor anymore. In this case, it doesn't factor. It's okay to leave your answer just like this.